Uh, other thing I keep in my kit, I keep moleskin for blisters and Band-Aid brand blister packs. And I'll describe how to fix these here in a second. But the main thing, if you can help it, if you start feeling a blister, is cover it to uh, take a, you know, a less than the chance of it actually forming into a complete blister. But the biggest thing you can do is prevention. I brought up, I bought this body glide here a week ago, took it with me on this recent trip to Laurel Highlands Trail. It worked wonderful. It did what it was supposed to. I even applied it to my feet where I knew I would get hot spots. The only place I started getting a blister was the ball of my foot, and of course, I didn't apply that. Uh, this is like $7.99 for, you know, deodorant size, and we know how long deodorant lasts. So I was trying to be sparing with it. So, but prevention. Okay, we got a blister. It has, it, it's formed, got a bubble. Uh, if it's hard, leave it go. Cut out a piece of your moleskin, apply it. Also, you can use, if you have this, this is a uh, benzine tincture, we call it. If you don't have this, just take an alcohol prep, wipe off the area. That way, it gives you a better chance of this sticking to it. Just cut it to size. If you're starting to fill a warm spot, go ahead and just do the same thing. Put it over. If not, you don't have that piece of duct tape, a band-aid. I like these bandages that are like a gel form and they cushion they, uh, and uh, prevent it from getting further. Now, if for some oddball reason you got a really good bubble there and it's full of uh, fluid, take time, take out a regular sewing needle or safety pin. Wipe off it with a with alcohol, the tip of it. Oh, let's see, is there something here I can even simulate a blister? Kind of doubt it. Okay, let's say my knuckle here was the blister. What you want to do is take that end of the needle it you want to more or less clean the whole thing off the alcohol. Insert into the blister and proceed through the blister. And then you can remove it and squeeze all the fluid out of it. Keep squeezing, squeezing until you can't get any more out. Take some of your ointment again, if you have it. Apply that. Take your mole skin. Cut out a donut large enough to cover that. A blister. You can buy them already cut that way as well, but I find it easier just to have your own because your blisters are never uniform in size. Leave a hole open so it's able to let that blister stick up through enough. Apply that. Then go ahead and just put a band-aid or another piece of moleskin over top of it. Something just keep it clean so it doesn't get infected. But uh, that's a simple way of treating your blisters. Oh, let's see, what else do I got? <coughs> Alright, I keep a fur, uh, tooth uh, repair kit. Never used it yet, but uh, more or less my understanding is if you have like a filling that comes out, just reach here and grab a dab of this. Applied onto the tooth that's infected. I'll also keep some aura gel in here. Uh, for tooth or gum aches. I keep some Advil, uh, Tums. What else? Modi Mady guys, diarrhea. Uh, some foods automatically give it to me. Uh, so 
but a lot of times it can be prevented. One is the biggest filtering your water and sanitizing your hands. Keeping your hands clean. Every time you go to the bathroom, make that cat hole, water or bush, whatever. Keep your hands clean in between. Clean them before you eat, clean them after you eat. And that's going to help prevent you from the unpleasant uh, diarrhea out in the field. Sorry about that. Last thing I'll bring up is splinter removal or stinger. If you have a splinter or a stinger, I'm just going to use the one off of my Swiss Army tool if I can find it. I do have another one in my first aid kit. This is just a backup. Splinters are easy. Just go down close as you can to the skin and remove. Same thing with tits. Get down close to the skin remove. Uh, once you do that, clean it off, apply a little bit of that, just a dab of triple antibiotic ointment. You want to throw a band-aid on it, it's up to you. So, uh, I did bring up real quick, I brought up the uh, splitting. You know, there's woods in the woods, unless you're out in the Sierra Desert, you know, you can find a branch or something in order to splint a, uh, a site. Uh, if it's another limb like a leg, you know, and you have to carry the person, use their opposing leg as a splint, you know. I um, think that's about it, guys. Uh, another thing we can talk about real quick prevention, uh, since I got it here. Chaffing, uh, what's another one that term that Marty uses? Uh, swamp ass. Take time and apply some gold bond to your inside your underwear, your, your socks. Every time you take a break, like halfway through the day, take your shoes off, your socks off. Uh, let your feet air out. Apply some baby powder to your feet or foot powder. So that way, it's going to help to prevent yourself from having issues with chapping or or blisters on your feet or swamp foot. Also, preventing yourself from getting sunburn. Take the time, apply some sunscreen to your exposed skin while you're out in the field, uh, especially around your neck or, any, or your arms, anywhere that it's exposed. If you to wear a hat, that's even better. Uh, with the, I brought up about the bug snack, take the time, apply some sort of a bug repellent to yourself too in order to help prevent yourself having to treat that. So. All right, guys, I was, I'm hoping to keep this short, so I better shut up. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.